Good morning, it's Rosalie with Can't Wait to Plan. How you guys doing? Okay, so today I'm participating in a paper crafting YouTube YouTubers hop, um, which appear, occur monthly on the first Saturday of the month. Um, this is, was a year-long hop that I got uh, involved with uh, kind of in towards, I think it was August that I first got involved with it. And... Um, and I'm so this is actually the last month of the the hop, so I'm a little bit sad. Um, this month theme is tease the season, so <clears throat> I got a chance to meet a wonderful crafter named uh, Mel Mel Walk. They say walked in or walk walk yeah walked in um, through the hop, and she's from Australia. And she is involved in the Christie's Beautiful Life series, which I try to get on, but I, I don't think I, I'm glad I didn't get on because I don't know that I was um, ready to, to do something every day. But um, she, we were talking, um, we were doing a Facebook chat and she was um, telling me that she did pretty much, she was uh, participating every day of the, of the, um, of this hop with, except for for a few days which was two of them were day nine and 11 and it was so funny because she said she didn't she didn't know um what to do with it and i looked at it and actually it turns out it it would match my the photos that i have planned for this hop almost perfectly so not exactly but i made it work <clears throat> so i'm gonna do it and mel if you're watching um this is my take on it okay so this is one of the first time i've actually have ever done a um a layout using a sketch um i'm a little bit intimidated by it but i know that it's just a starting point but still you know it's like i'm such a I don't know. I don't follow rule in a lot of areas, but it's but I, I am a good good student, and so many times I just wanted to do exactly like that. So anyway, if you have not been involved in the Christie's Beautiful Life series, this is series ten, and this was day eleven, which I plan to to use it for my left side. I always do double sided layout, and then the day nine, I'm doing it for the. Um, right side of the layout so anyway so let's get started so I took out all of my uh, Christmas collection I got so many <laughs> it's ridiculous I have no business buying anything else but um, out of all of them for the, okay so let me show you the photos I, I have to work with this just so that you get a chance this was I went back to 2012 which was um an early one but it was it's that's i don't know why i was looking through and that's one of the one i chose i actually start i wanted to do um when the kids were younger first and then getting to the new ones but look how cute we were that's us it's a family and then here's the the boy and the girl and so on so I um I did these in kind of like almost four by six and then these were like three by four or something like that, which can go with yeah, two and a half by three and three and a quarter um was what I did for the photos. So let me leave that on the side first. So I went through everything and the the one that I found the paper that I liked the most was a perfect Christmas, which you see the paper was this one right here um, and because I wanted something a little bit darker um, and because of the, all the coloring of the um, the tree and what we were wearing and stuff um, I couldn't use some of the uh, collection that had the green I need, I need the green to be a little bit darker and some of them the green was really light so I luckily I did buy two collection of this through the Echo Park warehouse sale so I have two of these pieces of paper and it was called um, just so you know Berry Merry Christmas super cute and um, so, let me... so this is the um, the, the side and then in the back of it was this and originally you know sometimes but i think this was going to be too much to do it like that so i flip it and actually that works out really well i was going to use a different paper um 
over here from another collection but i think this worked out really really well so anyways that's what i'm um, starting with and then um if you look at the um i should not put that away if you look at the collection it require a piece of paper here um so i figure i mean i i think because of the coloring uh oops let me make sure everything is in frame here um because of the way the coloring is man let me make okay i wanted to be big as big as possible but i need you to be able to see it okay so um so i decided to use kind of like a a tan um whatever color you or craft paper color okay so that's what i started with this was an eight and a half by 11 is actually was quite old and where i was had my craft room before there was a lot of sunlight so on the edges it was already kind of discolored which which was fine for this for this layout anyway so i cut it up to um to the size i thought was you know what what was reasonable with giving that and um <clears throat> so we're just going to lay it out i kind of already sort of laid out already so i mean i had to you know otherwise we're going to be here forever right so i'm gonna just go ahead and glue it down i put in some oh my goodness oh no did i not get it this working well shit see this thing it's not good. Did I have it on the wrong way? Couldn't be. Oh, forget it. Um, I'm just going to use this. I did get a, um, a, a correct pin for the, for the, um, for the Barry, Barely Art um, glue bottle. So yay, finally I was able to use this um this this glue because so anyway um let's see how where i would have it so i i'm i'm gonna uh, yeah they kind of center it not you know they kind of center it on the page but because the t of the title and the way my photo is my and so on I decided to move it down just a tad on the um, on the page okay good so now um, and then they did they use some kind of um, paper for um, what do you call it line paper for the um, for the um, what of the next layer the next largest layer so i had this collection called school time which is so cute it was i'm sure i bought it just last year everything pretty much i bought last year has i'm sure i showed it already too but it has a, some foiling in there just super cute paper so i found this paper that's the front and the back is just this cute um this cute paper let me show you what it looks like it's just it's just this okay so i took it out and i um i cut it i mean i fussy cut the this because i didn't have i didn't have the one with just like them where they do it that, that way so i did that which i think is fine and i had um i use i use um i save whatever i had for the rest of them because I figure I will need some for next door. So I save all the paper, all the scrap that I had for that. So this was going to go right here. So this is kind of fun. Um, make sure everything fits okay. I think that's pretty good. I was thinking of... Um, you know um what do you call edging no we're not edging inking the the outside but i decided not to so we'll go from there and then they had another layer in this case they use a polka dot but i figure i could use whatever but then it turns out i had i did find a polka dot paper that i really like that works really well um so 
I found this in the Hello Christmas collection. And unfortunately, this was the only paper. Um, I only had one of this paper. And it's called Holly Berry. So the back of it was this, Holly Berries. And then, I mean, that's the front. And the back was this uh, beautiful red paper. So that's what I um, use. Okay, so we're going to get this going. Oh no, it got it did a clock already. See, you got to put this pin back right away. I mean, I was just using it, so um, what the heck? Okay, yeah, that's weird. It keeps stopping. Man, I'm like... I may have to just do this later. Because I have to go to a doctor. I get my mammogram done in about 30 minutes. I don't know if I can get this all filmed with the way my glue is not working here um, by then. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, this keep clogging. So I'm going to use this one for now. Got sh glue sh sh it all over it. That's cute. It's cute, huh? Very nice. Okay. And then now we have let's stick the photos on there. So so that before we start to decorate. Okay, so I got the two larger photos let's glue this baby oh shoot i don't even have the glue darn it i got so i was testing it and it was working fine i don't know what happened both glue and i was testing the i just reloaded I watched the video again and reloaded my AGT gun and still. Okay, so this photo, yeah, because of the way I'm looking that way quite a bit, I'm going to have this photo over here, which is kind of the way they had. So I decided not to do that border just because my photo was bigger and it just was going to be, I think, too much, um, too busy. So I decided... Um, to take off that layer there, which was fine, right? I mean, again, we're not meant to follow it exactly. Just give us some inspiration to get going. Okay. So now, so they had the title going up here. And um, what I found, let me show you what I found in the, so I have, I have the Celebrated Christmas Collection from Echo Park. And in there, um, they have this, I already tore one of them apart, but in there they had this uh, border strip and it's it's so cute. I, I um, oh no, that, that, that's the wrong one. Sorry. It has this border strip, Celebrate Christmas, yeah. Um, this border strip and it has this this thing here which I thought was such a pretty um, title to use so I, I fortunately again with this one I have two collection so I cut that out and I already put it on foam dots and so on so I'm gonna go ahead and stick it down here maybe a little bit lower so I, um, just so you know, I use, I use these, um, I don't know what size they are per se, but they're, they're the square, you know, the square, they're like a, not even a quarter of an inch, um, smaller than that, but they're square thing. But for these letters, I cut them in half because I didn't want them showing on the side at all. And I don't know if you ever do that. Um, 
have to use kind of these scissors that are unsticky, non-sticky scissors to cut them out so they don't gum up everything. Um, but the um, but then that's nicer because the square one for these letters was just a tad big, so you know it could show the white on the outside the white of the um, foam thing here. But in this case, it was, it was okay. That's so cute with the wreath in the middle, right? Okay, so I got that. I, I hope that's... Um, and um, they show that they have some embellishment here. I have not come up with any embellishment there yet because that's smaller, but I didn't like how that side was looking with, it seems, I don't like that hole either, but um, so I've cut out of um, Celebrate Christmas. They also have this paper called, must be called Deck the Halls. And so I've already fussy cut all of these ornaments out. I thought the ornaments was just so great. So I fussy cut those out and, um, pick out the one I was going to use and I already put foam on them. So, oh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> so I'm going to um, glue that down to here. So I put, I put foam on two of them, but I didn't put it on the smallest one that was going to be kind of the top. So I thought, yeah, see, that covers my little ugly i may have to move that over a bit because i think yeah man this is not going according to plan and of course i was gonna take i was gonna video this much earlier in the day and then i didn't realize that i still had a whole bunch of stuff um to do with with the layout before I could actually do it, actually video it. So it was not the way I had planned. Sorry, guys. Are we straight? Okay. So now I figure go. Cute, right? I may have to move this over a tad more. I forgot to mark where I started it. That would have helped, I think. Okay. So now the last one already got sticker bed on it. I thought I overlapped it like that, which is cute, right? Maybe down a tad. And I could just kind of feel like I want to see some ornaments on this page because the whole page is about tree and ornaments. Okay. So, oh, and then this corner, because it seems a bit, I did think of something. I found this in the Perfect Christmas collection, which we used this paper for. I found these border strips. And I really like this cute little, I mean, I could made it myself, but this just fits so perfectly. So I cut that part out. I didn't like that. I just cut this uh, little um, banner strip here. And they also have these, which I also cut out and kind of surgery them together. Yeah, in the back. And I put foam already on them too. So now we're just going to stick it. And I thought it would really look cute up here in the in the top corner there that's very empty right now yeah I, I should get used to leaving things more empty i do like things fill up more <laughs> right oops oh and then i found also let me show you i also found this super cute um little um what do you call it um I'll show you in a second. It's it's a it's just part of a, a border and it is just a, a cute lace um lace thingy. 
lace uh, paper, but I thought it just, you know, it, it just be going to be cute like right here, although I kind of killed it a little bit there. Not sure why that did not stick together like with the others. Now it's sort of crooked. Ah, that was meant to be crooked. Okay, so that's what I did there. The lace, I cut out that, that out of here. So that little bit there. But I move it over to the other side. I didn't think it needs here. So I just cut everything apart and sort of went into there. Okay, so let me make sure that we are still in frame. Yeah. Um, okay. And that's all I did for this page for now. So now let's look at the other side real quick. So this is the the um, layout for that. They had called for something more like a square, a square um, thing, a square, uh, four square photos. But I decided that I needed my photo to be a little bit longer. So I did, I did it, what, like I mentioned, 2.5 or whatever it was um, up there, okay? So with this, they require a couple of the strip to go down. And I laid that out and I didn't like it. I actually thought that's kind of funny looking. So I just cut one one piece out and I made it a little bit um, a little bit wider than I think the, the one of those four, but not double the size. Okay, so that way you can kind of see what I did. Man, it's like this is the worst thing ever. I cannot believe, but see? Again, this is the truth. The ugliness of it all. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so um, I had it sort of, and my paper, for some reason, this particular paper was a little bit shorter than 12 by 12. So I just, I made sure that I flush it to the top, but on the bottom, it was a little bit, it shows, eh, actually, it doesn't, no, okay, I didn't even flush it to the top, so <laughs> there you go. Okay, that's better, I think. Cannot see at all. Okay. Okay, so that's what we had right here. Got everything glued down. Yes, and I have glue everywhere on my finger. Okay. So then, um, I, by the way, I already met all the photos, if you didn't see, with um, white cardstock. So now I got these photos of my kids. So I figure I do. And she's not exactly sure. Okay. Actually, no. I need. I need the. Uh, do I need the other paper? Oh, I did want. I did want this paper. I didn't want to do two paper, but I like. Um, I I did want to put another piece of paper down, and the I just used. I only had a little bit left of the uh, notebook paper, so I went ahead. And did the best I could. So now the, the paper is actually vertical, but whatever. That's fine. So I had it down like something like this. I just wanted a little bit of color. And then the I was planning to do the, what do you call it? The journaling in white too. So that's going to bring, you know, a lot more white onto the page. Like to match more of that side. Okay. Um, man. Glue is sticking like crazy. I'm so bummed that I may have another a glue that's more, <clears throat> that's a smaller one. Okay, I actually don't. So um, how do I have this? Let's do, because I was going to do boy, girl, boy, girl, or something like that. So maybe that would work. And just kitty corner the way they did it. So something like, like that. So my daughter's so cute, huh? Like, so darling. At that age, and actually at this age too, she always been a girly girl, 
love dresses and stuff like that. My son never seemed to care at all what he wear, you know, for the most part and so on. But hey, that's what boys are, right? They just want to have fun. So if you just separate a little bit the way they did it. And I have my son up here. Yep, they're 15 and 18 now. Kayla would turn it would turn um, 16 in January. Boy, she still, she fell her driving test twice already. <laughs> She's really bummed. Um, so what her best friend is here spending Thanksgiving. Um, She's not spending Thanksgiving, but the Thanksgiving vacation, school vacation since Saturday, um, since last Saturday. And uh, she's going to leave tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day. I'm just going to drive her back to her house um, in the morning so that she can spend Thanksgiving afternoon with her family. But boy, they don't get to see each other very often. So this is nice. Okay, so that's what I have. Pretty, pretty close, right? Okay, so the I, I figured since I have ornaments over here, I'm going to have ornaments over here. And unfortunately, I, I was had hope that I could do, it seems crooked for some reason to me, um, that I could do the ornaments on this side to kind of, or maybe down here, but it looks better over here. So that's what we're gonna do. And I, I did already picked out three ornaments that I was gonna use for, um, for the page. And again, I foam taped two of the, the bigger one and the one that was gonna be to the closest to the top, like the, the third layer one, I did it in on foam dots because I figured that it's easy to move them around. You know how, because you, you hit these or whatever. So I think I had it something like that. I know that this one, I didn't put the foam dot on all of them because I knew this one was going to be overlapping there. And then this, I think that I may need another one here. Another foam dot. Oh, I did not need one up here, that's why. <laughs> like okay so yeah you put the 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 red a little bit in because i didn't want it on the red you know and so actually you know what yeah i don't like the way that flip flaps i'm gonna put it right here okay so kind of a a three thing there okay so i don't need a title here because you know it's a double double page and um I do want it to put down my, I gotta get this thing working because without, I did the journaling for that already and I was actually, let's lay it out first. Let's close this in. So I like, make sure that it's taking the right spot. They have the journaling on that side as well. So at least I'm, I'm getting close for that. Now this is white, so I don't know if I should go over that. I think it's cute. It doesn't have to be just on the wait. Just on the red, right? But it doesn't actually no, I'll just have it on the red. I think that looks better. Okay. So my journaling is, you know how I like to journal. So I think we will go much more down here and with the deed, I'll have it way over here. Okay, so yeah, that looks that looks okay. Let me make sure everything is still in frame. Yep, okay. So let's glue that down. Hopefully 
this thing works otherwise I have to get to the Oops. Okay, that probably need a little bit more glue or I need to hold it down more. These have the pattern on there, so thank goodness. Because it makes it a lot easier to, to get straight, huh? I think the, the key to this was to you have to put it down um, in between the, the glue. Seems like that works okay there because um, if you don't, I guess it, it clock it up or something. I don't know. It's kind of strange, but it seems to work much better. Oh, nope. It's, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Shit. Oops, sorry. Shoot. Okay, now what happened to my... Okay, here it is. Um, I could not find any pin that's small enough to work in this little hole here, but finally... I found one and it doesn't seem to maybe that's the one that originally came with the bottle because it didn't it did not it did not um, rust up everything else I've used so far it rusts up the whole the thing you know the glue how that goes and so on yeah they're so cute, isn't aren't they? My son always have a, a little a little gap and a kind of a crooked tooth. Oops, in front of um, with his front tooth. So I always love his smile because it's so cute. And um, he did he did get braces later on and now it's all fixed but that was so if you I don't know if you can see it that close when I was showing the photos but that's that's what he has he had this cute little crooked tooth that always make me smile when I see his his sheepish grin at this age they're so cute that's what I wrote in here too at this age they still believe in Santas and everything else you know so it's so sweet and so cute and they still listen to you and everything else okay i probably i need to make a stop now and go to my appointment and then i come back i will finish it then okay yeah i i don't know so i'm not doing this at the last minute so thank goodness i will have time you guys ready to go hang out outside with me? <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, sorry about that. My husband came in and started talking. <laughs> so, um, so in the meantime, I had got my mammogram. I uh, we went to brunch. I had uh, egg, sunny side up eggs with corned beef hash over steamed rice. It was awesome. Anyway, so now I'm back. Let's finish this up. So so far, this is what we got, and. Um, I wanted to put something down here, so I we, we went. Ahead, I think we finished this one over the other half of the video, and then now let's find something here. And I I kind of want something with words to, to kind of balance out the Noel. So I was looking. I pull all the sticker sheets together from some of the um, Christmas collection, and uh, the jingle all the way from Echo Park had a cute little saying. Um, say merry and bright. And it has all the right coloring, of course, and it's white. I mean, some of the collection, like Cartabella, was the background was was um, cream, so that wasn't gonna do. So I actually st stuck it on a um, uh, you know a fun foam already. So we'll leave it at that. And then what I wanted to do was maybe bring in some poinsettias and stuff, because on the background there's some flowers here. It's not really poinsettia there, but um, for Christmas, I figure we use that. So on another sticker sheet from Jingle All the Way from Simple Stories, you see how this is a lot of, a lot of um, more, uh, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but these are more um, ivory instead of white. But their their um, uh, gardenia, not <laughs> the um, poinsettia, is actually on a white 
white background there. So I picked these out. This one was, these two was here too. And the, and the lead, the little holly thing. So I only had the three. So I pick all three to use um, for here. And I thought what I do is let's get this over. Open this up real quick. I thought what I do, and I still hadn't been able to fix my AGT tape again. I looked at it again, and it seems to be all backwards. I look at the video again, and oh, I'm driving me crazy. So I, um, I don't want to put this on foam, the the poinsettia, but what I was thinking is to put the big one maybe over, over here, just to kind of balance it out. Um, because if I'm going to put some over there, and this one, I would only have the one, so I wanted to use the larger one, and that gives me the, the visual triangle as well. And then this one, I only had these two, so I was thinking maybe to do something like this. And then have the flowers sticking underneath, kind of, Kind of framing it a little bit. What do you guys think? I think that looks nice. You know? So that means I have to stick this down first. And these are stickers. So I'm going to pull it right off. The reason I don't want to put that on um, foam is I think I want to embellish the flowers a little bit. I don't know if that can be done. I'm going to find maybe some gems. I tell you, when I need none of these... Christmas collection had any enamel that there was one and then I took it out to put it so that we can use it and then I don't know where the hell I put it but um, oh, didn't have it far enough um, so I think I'm gonna have to I'm doing a hop with the organizing small embellishment on Sunday that's gonna be post on Sunday I haven't done the video yet but I will um, I think I have to redo my enamel dot just to pull them together. They have names on them already. I'm going to keep them in the packaging so I know what collection it comes in. Because right now I I keep them with the collection. And um, that's just too hard. Because, you know, they, they all come in. Man, this is not cooperating here. Um, I just want to be able to find some. Because they, they have different, the same kind of coloring anyway, you know. So why not stick them together and that way I can find them when I need them instead of because not all collection. I don't have enamel dot for every single collection. So anyway, so that's that. Let's stick this baby down. This one, you see, I was trying to use the, the what do you call it, the uh, AGT tape and it was all pulling together. It was just wacko. Wackadoodle is all I have to say. I was cute, huh? <laughs> all right. So I was thinking, okay, now I don't think I need this anymore. So let's make sure our needles go back in so it doesn't dry up. Okay. So I was thinking I took out some, um, I was thinking of juicing up these enamel dot I mean these ornaments a little bit if I can maybe juicing up the um the flowers or the you know the hollies and stuff so and then maybe add some maybe I'll do that first and then I was thinking of adding some puffy stickers some small stuff just to make this embellishment a little bit bigger but maybe not okay so let me see let's take a look at at some Okay, I pick out stuff that has colors that I could use. I was thinking maybe I use, these were, um, God, I can't remember where this is from. I took them out of the packaging, uh, but on some of them, I did save the packaging. These are super old. They used to sell them like that, where, you know, like more like this. It was really, really cute. I bought so many. I was thinking maybe just add the larger um, stones in the middle here just that's why I kind of kept it low so that way I know it's different it's multiple um, little seats as a center but I don't have that so I'm going to do that that way now it's at the same height as that I don't want my page to get 
to get super, super, um, whatchamacallit, super high, okay? And then on this, on this, um, on this piece right here, let me put this over here. I was thinking I couldn't find any green uh, gems or I don't couldn't find my enamel dots. And this green is completely wrong. So I just needed some small thing, um, some small uh, crystal or, gem or rhinestone to go with that. So I was thinking to use this color because, you know, like the ornaments over here right next to it is kind of that color. You know, the, this gold is way too too gold. I didn't like that at all. But I thought these would be cute, don't you think? I like the green though, huh? Such a bummer I don't have the right green. No, you know what? I think I'm, because I don't, I don't know what else to do over here to zhuzh up these. I mean, the joy, there's nothing I can do there. Um, so I'm going to add these. Just, I think that would look cute. Yeah. Let's do that. Some of these, when you pull them out because they're old, the, the, um, the adhesive, doesn't go with it <laughs> but this one so far so good so let's not jink it up rosalie okay so how you guys been you excited for thanksgiving when i'm film filming this it this doesn't come up until it goes up on saturday morning but i'm filming this the day before thanksgiving so hope you're gonna have oh my goodness hope you're gonna have a wonderful fat free but still delicious thanksgiving dinner we go every year to my brother-in-law brian for thanksgiving we do christmas and he does he do, he does thanksgiving he's a chef he's a professional chef so it's always such a treat to go to his house for dinner and he loves to cook so he does have us and some of his other friends and family come over quite often you know, every couple months or so. So anyway, I like that. I like that. So I was thinking maybe doing something similar to this particular embellishment here. I'd have, I don't want to use cr crystal because it's clear, but I thought perhaps I could use, let's see, let's see if that's going to work. It may be too much. I was thinking of using these tiny little pearls. I have some here. These also from Swim My Stash. I did not save the packaging here, so I don't know. I think it was Joanne or something like that. But let's see if that... I, I may not want to put for every single one, you know? Because that may be just too much. But maybe let's see if it looks good just here and there. Or maybe do I have to do it for every single one of them? Or maybe it look may make it look odd if I just do. Oh, that that did not stick. Where did it go? There you go. You shilly shilly little pearl. You don't want to stick because the sticker was stuck to the thing. So we'll do another one. I have to jiggle it so that the the glue will come with it. Yep, I've been having some issues with my email it doesn't allow me to take any mass mail mass marketing mailing there was i know kind of the reason why but haven't been able to, to find someone to, to help me fix it so i have no clue except for a couple stores who's doing what for for black friday so any of you have suggestions for that oh and yeah by the time you see this video it's already over, but you know what? They may have, they usually have those deals all weekend, right? I'm, go, I'm going to go back to some of my video from last year, just before. Mm, I don't know if I like that. Nope, I don't like it. So I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take it off. I, it, it makes it kind of all milky and weird if I don't do it to all of it. And I actually prefer the bright you know, white of, of, um, of the berries on there. So, nope, that was not a good idea. Okay, fine. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to put the gems here. 
Let's do that baby. We have that big gems right here. Let's I forgot about that poinsettia. So let's do her over here. Okay. And I think we have some of the berries. Let's do some of the berries. And these may be too big. Do I have any smaller one? Where did all my gems go? That's so weird. These are too big. Maybe I'll just add to the big one. Okay, just add a few to the big one because definitely we don't want we don't oops, we don't want to add it to every single berry here. It would be way too much. But here and there, I want to get some jajing on there, maybe a bigger one here for this side. Yep, big one. And this side. Okay, maybe one more there. Okay, I also can't find where I put all my um, Nuvo drop and stuff because I was going to use them to, I can always do it later when I find them. I may put them all away in the, in the, in the organized place and I can't find them. Jesus right that's crazy but in any case um i thought maybe i can use that to you know put them in the outside the outline of these ornament perhaps and something like that you know maybe pretty up some of these um some of these uh christmas tree on here okay these are too big for that thing here okay so yeah i don't i have a whole bunch more red so i don't know where I look really quickly, and that may be why. Okay, and then for that poinsettia, which I I saw these. These were like, oh my gosh, 2007 from Martha Stewart. And they were just flowers, but you see how it's kind of shaped like, shaped like the uh, poinsettia, and, you know, petals. So I thought maybe that would look kind of cool like that. Let's see I may not hopefully I like it because this is hard to get up so it may be hard to remove from the page like that it's not it's not actually that I mean it is on already on foam I probably should not have raised that one since I'm doing this but next time you know we do it in order right you embellish then you embellish the embellishment <laughs> so so I don't know if I was going to, tough to tell, but next time, maybe I think it out a little bit more so that this is not super tall. I may still be able to remove the foam, the foam tape from there if I'm careful, because if I'm going to put it down at the same place, then even if I torn the paper a little bit, it may be okay. Okay, so I think this one I got to move over. Okay, see this is a place where I should be really pretty to put a nouveau drop of some sort. Yeah, I like that, right? That we can use this for, oh, I got a berry here, um, over there. Okay, so that's there. Let's put it back into its rifle place. I probably will try to get a little bow, a die, a die bow or something. I, I die cut it out of a die, a metal die I have and put it there. Okay, afterwards, maybe even here too. I could do something in the middle of this. Let's see if we have anything. Um, I saw this. I don't know if that's going to be cool or not. Let's see. These, remember, these were from... Um, Actually, these were from um, Hobby Lobby, but they kind of, I mean, they look kind of interesting. I thought f from afar, they look like gems, but they're just like little weird um, concave in piece of thingy, whatever they are. Hmm. 
Yeah, I like the. What do you guys think? With or without? The Noel without is kind of cuter, huh? Maybe with just the bow. No, I don't like that. So, nope. Okay. And so I think that's all I'm going to do for now. For now, Because, oh, and then let's try to zhuzh it up with, um, <clears throat> with some of the, if we can find any of these, um, you know, I was thinking to, to do more of the, like, here. Because they have more of the. Because I kind of want it a little bit longer. Since the thing is there. So I do that. Oh, this would be kind of. Nope. Cute look. See if there's any. Oh, here I could do these. What about these? For here, do two of them. No, but they're, they're kind of soft, huh? This, this collection is simple all the way. And the color on the, um, on the puffy is, is a little bit off. Like it's not, see, there's another one here, which I can use on this side so that it stay the same sort of speak and I don't love it it doesn't really add anything does it you know that's better okay I think I'm okay. I'm all done here. Maybe the little cute little heart for my daughter. And some of these leaves and things. This one we can put here. Just add a little bit more and more and more and more. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm so quiet. This is so weird. And I was thinking maybe something in the middle here, or I found this. What if, and the green is not exactly the same either, but I thought that maybe this would be okay to just like put around the circle. Is that too much gem? Oh, I need something here too, huh? Yep. Just do a, a circle of of gems around it. Because this one is super plain. Or the other thing I could do, the other thing we could do, let's see, let's see, let's see, is we can find a cute brass or something and we stick it in the middle of that. So let's play, let's try that. Or even one of these puffies. You know, these colors are just wacko. They're not the same as, okay, so I'm done with this one. Let's put that away. See, that's pretty. And that's, that, it's okay. We matched that already. How about December, December 25th? And it's not December 25th. This was only December 1st when we went. How about a, a wreath over there? Too small. How about a reindeer? How about Rudolph? Uh, or a Merry Christmas. Over there we have Joy. So maybe we do a Merry Christmas over here. 
How is that? That's okay, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's see, this one have anything? I think I have to have it up a tiny bit, yep. Okay, I'm still looking for something to stick in the middle of that. And let's see, let's see, nothing here. Nada. This is a little bit too yellow. That's a simple stories. This one is too small, I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, okay. That's actually too big. So if it's a pearl, I may have another pearl over here in my pearl section. Remember we had pearls, but we didn't use it. So maybe we have one that's small enough to maybe have to move some of those over because it may be too small for our pearl. Because I don't think I want that small one. This one is a better size, right? Ooh, oh my gosh, what the heck. Yep, that's pretty, but it's just a tiny bit small. So I'm going to move a couple of these out. Oh, don't, please don't rip my paper. Please don't rip my paper. Let's see, let's see. Go in there, baby. Go in there. Okay, still a little bit small. I'm going to move this one out a little bit. I need to get hair color so badly. So I'm definitely not sticking my head in the camera here because, because, because. Okay, we can move this one. Move this one over anything here. We want all these are too big. Okay, so let me make sure. Because if I stick my head in there, you can see all of my white, white roots. And that is just not a pretty sight. Yeah. You guys are used to it, right? We'll get old. Our hair. Go white, chill. Okay, that's better. Yep, it just fits. So now I can put this one back. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay. So I think I'm done. I wanted to put some, you know, whatever um, nouveau drop or something later when I find the thing. I can, but I think I'm I, I'm actually very happy with this. All right. I hope you guys let me check, make sure everything is in back in frame. But I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, or a belated wish for a, a wonderful Thanksgiving. By the time you see the video. And uh, please check out the description box for all the link of all the participants in this hop of Teas the Season. And um, thank you again for subscribing, for staying um, and watching my videos. And those of you who keep coming back, I so appreciate it. And um, I do have a request that if you're new to my channel and have not subscribed and you like what you see please click a like and consider subscribing to it i'm hoping that by the end of the year i'll get to a thousand subscriber that's my birthday month and i'm going to do a giveaway and everything else but my goal was to get to a thousand by the end of this year which probably won't happen but anyway um have a fun weekend and i will talk to you real soon bye